Hi guys, it's Tani here from Avalanche Safety Solutions and today I've got a video that we're all gonna dig. Today we're gonna do a buyer's guide on what you need to look for and what you need in a shovel. There's lots of different shovels to choose from, lots of shapes, lots of sizes. We're gonna cover it all today. When picking out a shovel, one of the very important things is comfort and ease of use. I always look at the handles. There's two different types of handles that you can get with your shovel. You can get the T handle or the D handle. Depending on whether you're a glove person or a mitten person, me personally, I'm a mitten person, so I really like using the D handles because they're bigger and easier to grasp onto. But the D handles do have a harder time fitting in your bag. Unless you have an outside shovel carrier, um, I would say just going towards the T handle. Another thing to consider is scoop size. Now, Smaller scoops definitely will fit in your bag a lot easier, but they don't move the snow as fast. So depending on if you are skiing and just have your shovel in your pack for emergency uses only, or if you're like me and constantly digging yourself out when you go sledding, that will decipher the size of scoop that you want. The bigger scoops more in this shape definitely do have a flatter back so it makes it easier to dig out your snow profile pit snow pit snow pit for the profile <laughs> keep in mind too when you are picking out a shovel that you will come across some that don't extend the lower price shovels that you get this is as tall as it's gonna get. It's not getting any taller. So if you do need to dig, you are bent over and it's pretty uncomfortable. Home mode is offered on, I wanna say about 90% of shovels now. Everybody realizes how important it is. When you are digging and you have a production line behind you getting the snow out quickly, it's really easy to switch the shovel around and drag the snow. That way the people behind you have more of an option or opportunity to grab the snow and move it faster. Look on the front, generally there's a hole and that's where you can put the shaft through. There also is this style of handle which basically you just take out and stick the end of the handle into the scoop. This one also adds a little bit more leverage when shoveling in home mode. The reason behind this bend in the shaft is so that it can be switched over into home mode. Shovels can definitely vary in weights. We have some, they go from 600 grams up to 900 grams. Take this one for example. This one is the Mammut Light Pro and it comes in at just over 600 grams. In comparison to the BCA D2, which is over 900 grams. Some shovels also add the extra feature of a saw inside the handle. The saw is handy to have, but remember it is gonna add weight to your shovel. One of the last things to consider and think about when you are buying a shovel is 
does the scoop fit in your pack? When going in to a store to buy your shovel, bring your pack with you, try it out, make sure the shaft is not too long and the scoop is not too wide. Those are the biggest problems that we run into when selling shovels that go with certain packs. Only use a shovel that is designed specifically for avalanche rescue. That way you know the shovel is designed and built to do exactly what you need it to do. Avalanche shovels do range in price. They go generally anywhere from $70 up to $150. So now that we've gone over some basic ABCs of shovel buying, I hope you're comfortable enough to go and grab yourself a shovel and go and dig a hole. <laughs>